Blasters and quadruple cannonettes, this is Internet Personality Vangelis, and with many of the main Headmaster's characters having had their day in the sun in Titan's Return, it looks like it's time for some of the dedicated Target Masters to kinda... swap gimmicks and get in on the late G1 love as well. Trigger Happy and Blowpipe are here, jamming right into my nostalgia as they were one of my childhood flea market finds from way back in the glory days of squeaky little elementary school Vangelis. Ugh. The now Titan Master Blowpipe has a load of sculpted detail that all calls back to the then Target Master Blowpipe, from the waist up at least. Unfortunately, he's got one of those entirely unpainted Titan Master robot modes, and goddamn could I have used some bright green paint on his visor and face. His head mode got red paint on the faceplate and yellow paint picking out each optic, and it all looks clean and sharp, especially having those colors boldly applied over dark blue plastic. Thankfully, Hasbro broke their G1 toyetic habit and went for a comic and cartoon accurate faceplated head sculpt, which is by far my favorite of the two trigger happy visages. The only problem is the fact that the eyebrow overhang often prevents light from properly hitting the eyeball paint apps. So you've got to underlight him or have him look up if you really want those to pop out. With a happily canopied cockpit to solidly slip into, Blowpipe can now properly pilot Trigger Happy's vehicle mode. And it is a friggin' G1 Trigger Happy vehicle mode! This Cybertronian Starfighter has the proper twin double-barreled forward blasters, the proper insignia wing stripe tampa graphing, the proper brass-colored thruster tubes in back. My inner child is so very satisfied right now. The shapes, colors, and details are all so on target. Maybe the blue is a little more subdued than back in 1987? I don't care. Trigger Happy's got fold-away forward landing gear and a display stand peg hole ready and waiting on his surface detail-laden underbelly. I think there's even like a VTOL fan sculpted on there. The wings have got 5mm ports for mounting his paired handguns, or whatever else you want him to haul around. There are also 5mm ports inside the bases of his forward guns, but they're rather inaccessible in this mode. If you like, you can put a pair of Titan Masters on the top rear surface of the Starfighter mode thanks to a pair of compatible foot pegs. And if you really like, you can link Trigger Happy's handguns together into a weird, kinda sorta Target Master gun with a kinda sorta seat that can only plug into things sideways? And it seems to have feet? That's a G1 Blowpipe alt mode homage, I guess. I don't think this part went super well. Trigger Happy has a few callbacks to his G1 transformation, but only a few. This toy is f bombin' complex for a 2017 mainline deluxe, while maintaining an easy user-end experience, and it all cruxes around this torso swivel. I love the maneuver for looking cool, feeling great, and causing a fantastic silhouetic shapeshift. Everything after that is fairly cakewalk, but the end result is a well-balanced and damn cool conversion scheme that brings a huge blast of fresh air to Titans Return's third wave of releases, on the back of a mode change that may well could have gotten away with doing a whole lot less. And the next socket works! Hooray! The end result is a trigger-happy robot mode that categorically improves just about everything seen on the G1 original. Cockpit windows on the torso are preserved, massive cannons on the arms are preserved, huge shoulder tubes are preserved, maybe I've got a fixation on the same details in both modes, I'm not sure, but the nose cone now forms a textbook backpack, and the bipedal proportions all feel more dynamic and balanced. Trigger Happy's got twin handheld firearms, and I darn well hope so with a name like that. You can also plug them into their old underwing storage spots, or the now far more accessible peg holes on the bases of his alt mode's forward cannons. And, hey, you can swing those cannons forward as fist replacements for maximum DACA! I was hoping that the combined twin handgun kind of a seat mode would be able to peg together between the two forward cannons like this, you know, like Movie 1 Megatron's fusion cannon. Unfortunately, the geometry just doesn't line up. The Titan Master ball joint neck is on Trigger Happy because he's in Titan's Return, come on. He can tilt his head quizzically from side to side just a little bit. He can look up just a little bit and he can look down just a touch, just a touch. And often the, uh, the friction of the ball joint or the tension will fight back a little bit. It's hard to get this guy to look like he's looking down. His shoulders rotate forwards on a riveted joint. And then there is a separate hinge that allows them to go outwards. 
And he can't quite pull off a full T-pose with a head there because these giant things on his shoulders will bang into his head. And that probably is very embarrassing for him. He's got a bicep swivel. And this this thing here, this is, this is meant to be on Trigger Happy. But that and this wing tend to bump into each other a lot. Uh, he's got a simple 90 degree hinged elbow, no wrist joints. You can do this if you want, but they click into place so nicely and in such a nice position, I don't really do anything with them. There is a waist joint, and that's real cool, uh, as are the ball socketed hips, which can do the full splitsy vendamitation. He's got mushroom pegged thighs, a uh, hinged knee that, thanks to the transformation, can pull in super deep. Uh, just a single hinge, but because the upper legs suck into the lower legs when he turns into a jet, you get that happy byproduct of a faux double-jointed knee. And then uh, his toes and heels can move in sort of unison to rock back and forth like this for some forward-backward uh, ankle hingery. So Trigger Happy here has no wrist swivels, and I don't really care because I've never needed to use them in any pose I want to put this guy into. He is a gunslinger, it would be cool if he could twist his guns a little bit, but he also can just straight up deploy the the full hand guns, and I feel like he accomplishes all the posability I want. Uh, maybe a little bit more outward shoulder motion if these parts tilted out of the way, that would have been pushing him up to like an A+, but he's, he's pretty darn solid in the articulation department, if you ask me. Oh, trigger, trigger happy. You hit it all right out of the park. My biggest beefs with this toy are the rather weak combined chair gun mode and the fact that his wings bump into his giant folded back forearm guns a whole bunch. Otherwise, this is a clinic in strong deluxe Transformers design. Excellent reverent G1 update technique and putting fresh spins on old proven transformation ideas. I've even figured out an artillery turret fan mode for this guy that doesn't feel all that terrible. I haven't laid hands on Rodimus or Twin Inferno as of this recording, but I suspect I won't be far off in my hypothesis that Trigger Happy's Wave 3 debut planted him firmly in place as the Titan's Return toy of the line in my eyes. Anyway, this has been Internet Personality Evangelist, and... Okay, I admit it. I have just laid hands, as of this recording, on one Wave 4 figure that may well have just ousted my very recently newly crowned Titan's Return's toy of the line. That review's gonna happen sooner than later, so try to guess who it is before then. Or if you're from the future, then like, don't, don't look up spoilers and try to guess anyway.